Before this video starts guys, I wanted to take a moment to plug my Discord. Now I have had Discord for about 8 months I would say, and I've been getting a lot of messages recently from people in Montage's Discord telling me that I should start my own. And also in my YouTube comments, people would comment stuff like, wow man, you should start your own Discord server and stuff like this. As I said guys, I've had Discord for 8 months, I'm actually partnered with Discord so I have a custom URL. It's been the second link in my description for as long as I can remember. So if you guys want to join the Discord, everyone's welcome. The link is discord.gg slash sickshadows. So yeah, my Discord is 100% the best way to get in contact with me, as well as to get updates on when the next video will be. Definitely join that if either of those two things are of interest to you. Uh, but that's all I have to say, guys. Let's get into today's video. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Six Shadows. back at it again with the solo survival. And we're back on the same server we were on yesterday, kicking things off with some more raids. I saw in my comments section that quite a lot of people were telling me that there's still a few more bases on the server. And someone actually told me the coordinates of one of them, so we're going to go and hit that one. Now, both of the bases that I want to hit today are actually both next to Green Ob, so it's pretty good that we had a sleeping bag here from yesterday. So there's one in my old base spot, which is near Green Ob from my Legacy series, which is just over across this water. And there's one on the edge of the Redwoods. Pretty sure they both have turrets, so we'll take a look once we get there. The first one should be just over here. Okay, so here's the first base, guys. You can kind of see it over there in the distance. He's got spike walls, he's got plant turrets, he's got regular autos as well. So it might be worth. So he's got like a decent amount of turrets. I believe he's got two on each side from what I can tell, which means I'm going to go ahead and raid it. Why not, right? From what I can tell, the turrets are on catwalks, which is a really bad idea. Don't put your turrets on catwalks, guys. They won't shoot directly downwards. You're going to want to put them on large hatch frames. So I'm just going to run up, place 2C4 onto the gate, and then just run inside. Hopefully they don't have internals, so it should be pretty easy. Let's do it. Alright. Oh, he's got an internal. See, we're pretty much fine. Once you get a good flak set, you can pretty much do anything you want towards, like, normal autos. Where's his, like, fabricator and shit, though? I don't see a fabricator. Does he have an upper level? He must have an upper level. So I'm guessing the generator's in here. Which I'm just going to put 2C4 on to get rid of it. Assuming that's where it actually is. There we go. Turrets down. Perfect. So yeah, pretty costly. We have to use... How much C4 do we have to use? We used four already and we got to use two more. So yeah, two more to get up this hatch frame over in the corner. So we'll place that now. Hopefully I didn't blow up their smithy. That's like the one thing I actually want to be up is their smithy. Oh, he's got fridges. Here we go. Two fridges. Why would you need two fridges? Hopefully he's got some eggs. All right, here we go. What do we got? Fabricator, a bunch of hard poly. That's pretty nice. I always like to get hard poly from raids. Uh, we got some cooked meat. I'll take that. Damn it, no fertilized eggs. Just normal eggs. Pink coated on all the boxes, which is kind of annoying because I'm going to have to break them. Wait a second. Does this guy have no dinos? I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any dinos that I could see at least. Can we repair our flak in here? Ah, perfect. It looks like I'm just going to have to break his storage boxes, guys. I'm just going to have to actually man up and do it. I really hate breaking boxes, though. It's so annoying. Does a sickle actually do much damage to it? Not really. Uh, can we make a grenade? Does he have enough stuff for us to make grenades? I probably could have made a C4 now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. Let's just do it with grenades. So we got two grenades. Let's see if it's actually going to work. Hopefully it does enough damage. Nope. <laughs> it didn't even blow one up. Did a pretty good chunk of damage to it, though. So they're down to 600. We'll break some. All right, the first storage box, we got junk. Wait, I can hear an RG. Wait, someone's here, guys. Someone is here. Oh, my God. He's repairing his base, guys. He's down there repairing his base. What the fuck? Where did he get that metal game from? All right, we killed him. Did he have anything on him? Nope. <laughs> he must have just been walking around with a metal gate. That's so weird. Um, what are we doing? I guess we'll quickly... What the fuck? He's back already? Oh my god, there's another guy. <laughs> What's he trying to do? <laughs> Alright, we killed that guy. Kind of want to try and loot his friend. Alright, what did his friend actually have on him? Pretty much the same stuff, just primitive. He's level 8 as well, guys. Right, I'm going to leave these two alone. I always say it, I hate rating new players. So, level 70, eh. He's played before. This guy's very new, though. 
I think I'm going to leave him alone. Did I take the poly? I took the hard poly. That's pretty much all they have. But don't worry, guys. There is another base we can raid on the server. So we'll go do that now. As I said, it's over in the Redwoods, like on the edge of the Redwoods. I scouted this server yesterday and I scouted it naked to start with. And I pretty much got inside of their base, even though they have turrets. Like I just ran past them naked. So they got a turret here. And I think he had a couple more. So there you go. A whole bunch of turrets just over there. Uh, but what you can do, and I did this naked, not even trolling. You just run this way. You get shot like three times by that turret. All right, I got shot once. And then, yeah, you're pretty much in close range to their base. Now, I didn't have grapples on me or C4 when I was scouting it. So I didn't really have anything I could do to it. But yeah, there's a fridge up there. What's it called? Doesn't have a name. It's quite a weird base design. Like, I didn't actually know where the loot would be. Like, I don't know where to start with this base. Someone just spoke in game, right? I'm pretty sure there's some players right over there. I can't really fight them though because I would be underneath turrets and I would get shot. I'd like to fight them though, but they got a Theri, they got an RG. I think there was one on a Tyranodon as well. So it's like a three man tribe from what I could tell. Okay, this guy just unloaded his armor into the RG. So that RG might have to die later. It could have a really good armor set on it. Not too sure what they're trying to do. Not even sure what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm just kind of sitting here watching them. Kind of fucking creepy, if you ask me. I'm really tempted to go through that open door there in the top right, but... All right, let's go for the open door, guys. I hope I can actually grapple up. All right, we killed one. Where's the second guy? There was definitely two guys. I'm almost certain I saw a second guy. What's in the fridge? Furt Dilos. No, thank you. <laughs> I'll take the food though. Smithy. Oh, Dodo Kibble. Bunch of tools. Long neck. 190 long neck. Fuck yeah. Paste. Is there a fabricator? Oh, here we go. Fabricator. What do we got? Bit of obsidian. Bit of paste. He doesn't really have much from what I can tell. What's in the boxes? Charcoal. Charcoal and furt. I'll take the furt. But from what I could tell, these guys have nothing. So I think we may as well just run. They might have had some other stuff that was like more well hidden. But from what I could tell, in the open, there was pretty much nothing. He has to have other loot in that base, right? Surely. I'm pretty sure I saw him putting shit into this RG guy. So we're going to have to kill this. No way around it. I really need to try and loot that RG though. Where did it die? Oh, there we go. We got a flak set and that was about it. All he did was put in his flak and he was putting in raw metal into the RG. Or was he taking it out of the RG? Out of the RG sounds a lot more plausible. We've got a flak set. Don't really know the durability on it yet. Got to run before the Tyranodon comes back. Oh, we got some really nice boots. That's the Tyranodon guy right there. Really nice boots and helmet is really nice as well. 767 Jura. The rest of it is kind of average. Actually, very average. But with that, guys, I think we're going to bail. We're pretty much done terrorizing this server. No real small bases left that I can raid in flak. There's a couple of big bases that I can't really do, like Blue Obelisk and the Iceberg. I could probably do them in my other series, but as for solo, don't think it's going to be possible. So what did we really get? We really didn't get anything. We got 300 hard poly, bunch of fertilizer, and I guess a decent second, like a backup flak set, which is kind of nice. I would have liked to kill the Pteranodon guy, but I don't think it's possible without bowlers. Or a whip. He was trying to pick me and I didn't have either of them, so I couldn't really let it happen. It seems like a really decent server, though, for, like, PvP and small-scale raids, like, against smaller tribes. So I'm sure I'll be back here in the future. For now, though, let's find ourselves a drop and transfer off server with whatever loot we have, which is not much. All right, guys, so today's going to be a pretty short video. I'm back at my little hiding spot where I stash all of my loot. I've stashed all the loot here from the past two days of raiding. I don't really have any other plans for the video because I'm ending it early so that I can go and play Rust with Muntage. We're actually going to try and get some Rust videos out over this weekend. So that's why today's video has been kind of short. Before I ended the video, though, I kind of wanted to go through and just show you guys all of the loot that I managed to get in the last two days since I got that new flak set. It's pretty impressive. I'm pretty happy with it. It's nothing too juicy. It's a lot of basic resources that I could have probably farmed in the same amount of time. But I had a lot more fun doing it. So we got the backup flak set, of course, here. We got eight auto turrets, a fucking shitload of paste. I don't even know how much it is. We may as well check it out. 7,500 paste. We got a bunch of dodo eggs, some electronics, fertilizer. We got some of, some of the flak blueprints that we needed. Nothing too great, as I said, when I got them. Especially the helmet. The helmet is goddamn terrible. Look at this. So primitive is 120 durability. 
This one is 169, so it's not that much of an improvement, but it's still good. Bunch of fertilizer, a little bit of kibble, not too much. We could probably get two Pteranodon tames out of the way over two times, which actually starts this weekend. So I'm looking to get a whole bunch of farming out of the way. We got two long necks. This one's pretty juicy. Definitely be using this long neck in one of the upcoming episodes. We got a whole bunch of hard poly, which is fucking amazing. I'm probably going to get an Indie Forge up. I should have everything I need to actually make the Indie Forge back at my base. Uh, once I take this poly back, of course. So we'll get the Indie Forge up. We should be up just in time for the two times event, which is starting in, I believe, like 12 hours from now or something like that. Two Pteranodon saddles. I don't know why I have two when they're pretty much identical. This one is slightly more expensive for only one more armor, so I'll drop that on the ground. We got the Stego Saddle Blueprint, which I'm really happy with. If only our Stegos were still alive, we could use them for some raids. Unfortunately, they're not, but it's still good to have. We may get some more Stego Eggs in the future. And that's basically it, guys. We've got the Simple Pistol Blueprint. It's a little bit expensive. Don't know if I'll be crafting one. I could always just repair the one that I have. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to go through the loot. Just wanted to extend the video a little bit. Explain why it was shorter than usual, and that is because we're going to be playing Rust. Uh, so look forward to that video. Even if you don't really like Rust, it would really help me a lot if you just check out the video, watch a little bit of it, give it a thumbs up, that kind of stuff. But for now, guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.